Good afternoon everyone, uh, Trapper Forever here. We are still on the deer hunt. It's been awfully tough since we got that uh, big snowfall and I think we ended up getting probably another six, seven inches after that. So the deer are, change your patterns totally. They're uh, not coming out much on the fields here in the mornings and evenings. Uh, there's a few in here, but uh, earlier in the muzzle loading season and stuff, I, uh, I didn't really hunt, but there was, uh, I'd probably see about uh, 30 deer on this quarter easily, but uh, things have changed. So we're at a different spot than I showed you last time. It's, um, we're just on the other side of that willow strip that's intersecting the, uh, to alfalfa fields, so I'll just flip you around here and I'll show you my viewpoint today. It's about, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe uh, 10 after 4, quarter after 4. So there's uh, the Duck Mountains in the background, and here's my field of view today. Uh, there's the willow strip that I uh, always talk about. It's uh, been a good spot to harvest deer too because the bucks and even the does and little ones tend to kind of uh, follow it, just to have a little cover for them and stuff. So we will uh, see if anything comes out tonight. If I can videotape if anything comes out without Scaring them off, I'll do so. But uh, this camera kind of makes a little bit of uh, noise when you when you open it up. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, show everybody that. I uh, planning to go maybe set a few martin traps tomorrow. The snow has uh, come off the trees a little bit, so we'll uh, try and go to, uh, do that. And uh, might go for a little afternoon hunt into uh, a cut if I can get in there. So. And that'll be it. We'll uh, talk to everyone later. Good afternoon everyone. Trapper Forever here. We are just going to pick up a buck I just harvested here at the home quarter. I uh, shot him at about around 4.30, 4 4.35, somewhere in that range. came out early. He's walking the uh, willow strip there. so. It's not uh, huge, it's got a good body on him, but uh, this one's have uh, big, big horns, but we'll take him anyway, given the situation this year with the snowfall and uh, the tough conditions, we will uh, drag him home, clean him up, and uh, let's go just uh, pick him up. Coming from that uh, 
moving pretty fast along this uh, willow strip here. Like I said, uh, my prior uh, video, I was set up on the other end of the willow strip, but he uh, was on this side. Like I said, the alfalfa is a little thicker here, and uh, they they're feeding on a little bit of the tops yet. So I'll go take a peek at them before it gets too dark here. Yes. I don't have too much of a pull to get them here, so that's all right. It's probably, a, I think, a five by four. He's got, a, well, maybe a four by four, I guess. This one doesn't count here, so anyway, that's. Uh, Got him right, uh, the boiler maker. I think I hit him twice. He was, uh, didn't go down right away, so I didn't want to chance it. So we'll take him out of here and clean him up before it gets too dark. Everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, deer harvest is done for the year, I guess. Eh? So. A little buck on the far side of the field. Lots of snow now, so a little four pointer. So he's far away, probably four or five hundred yards at least. Having a hard time holding the camera steady. So, anyway, we'll see if anything else comes out. Just still hunting here. There's a doe in the jack pine here. Just kind of waiting to see if a buck comes out. Just uh, saw that little doe, and we just come through the bush here into this cut. There's not a lot of uh, regrowth here yet but they are coming through here anyway so sit here for a few minutes and then work my way back through the bush for uh, get home for the evening sit I guess well folks we're out and about in the bush today it's uh, cooled off today yesterday was about uh, plus four Celsius so uh, we are uh, still colder today. It was about minus 20 this morning. So we're out just breaking some trail. Um, just uh, checking out some coyote baits. Doesn't look like there's much activity just because of all the snow we've had here. So, And I decided uh, while I'm breaking some trail, I'm going to set a few Martin sets. So there's the first one of the year. And uh, we'll see how that pans out. I think I did see some tracks coming in here. So. Hopefully, we got to lure it up and uh, bait it up with some beaver, and we'll carry on. I'm uh, going to go to one other spot there, uh, across the road from here, and uh, see what we can uh, see what's happening there. A lot of deer tracks here. They're hunkering down in the bush because of all the snow and stuff. So, anyway, we'll talk to everyone later. Hey there, everyone. Uh, just set that Martin box and came into the little thing here. See this in the snow, but uh, good afternoon, everyone. Trapper Forever here. I'm just gonna post a little video here. I um, finally finished deer hunting, the season's over, and I've, uh, I'm just gonna start the sled up. I set uh, six marten traps in three different locations. So there was some sign at a couple of the locations there, so we'll go check right away uh, if we picked anything up. Like I said, deer hunting is over, and usually I, uh, I'll i show you a few clips of, uh, I should have uh, videotaped more, but never always uh, took the camera with me, but got uh, just a video of a little buck cross in the field, and 
I had snuck up on a doe when I was still hunting one day. The amount of snow we had here made things make the hunt very difficult actually this year, so I would have liked to do a little more still hunting. I uh, spent some time just on the edge of some cuts overlooking uh, uh, just as last, last year's cut, it's not uh, grown up, it'll be probably better next year, so anyway, I'll show you the footage too of uh, the buck that I did harvest. I uh, got him, I guess, at the end of the second week here, so the snow was still quite uh, deep. I uh, pushed a track through just to my uh, hunting pails, just so I could walk there easily, and uh, Ended up this uh, this guy came along one evening, so put him down. And it's uh, I usually try to uh, get something a little more substantial, but like that, like I said, this year it's been kind of tough because of the snow accumulation and stuff. I like to uh, look for those character bucks. I had a couple picked out. I um, I've left some of my trail cameras out, so I did pick up a card the other day, and one of them did survive. Uh, deer hunting season, so maybe uh, later tonight I'll just uh, pull them up, pull the card up on uh, the computer and show you the one that I was kind of looking for this year. So, Hey there everyone, we're just uh, checking those six Martin traps like I said, and we're at the fourth set. It snowed last night and I checked the other sets. I didn't see any fresh activity by them, but fourth set, we picked ourselves up a pine marten here, so looks like a small one, but so anyway, that's good. I'm just gonna have to check and see if it's expired. If it's not, we will take care of it and uh, maybe give you a better look. Well folks, I uh, remade this set here. I, um, a bear had knocked this box to the ground, so when I set it I didn't have any uh, nails or wire to attach it to the tree properly, so did that. And we just got that uh, Juvenile Martin out of there, which uh, is a nice dark color, so if there's a juvenile around, there'll be adults to follow, so we will uh, continue. Got to lure this up yet. Continue and check those other two traps. I'm uh, running uh, short of battery life here, so hopefully uh, there's another catch I'll be able to show you. Hey there everyone. Uh, it's like I was saying yesterday, this is one of the bucks I was uh, trying to search for this uh, hunting season. It's not a very good, uh, it's not going to come out very good on the camera here, but just taking a, a video off of my uh, laptop here. So anyway, it was a nice uh, even 5x5 five five and uh, got some length to him and uh, I don't think it was too, too wide, but just thought I'd show everybody that. I, uh, he didn't show up, so if he survives his hunting season or if he did, hopefully he'll be bigger and better next year.